Hello, I hope you're all keeping safe and well. Thank you for watching our presentation. It's great to be here virtually telling you all about developing the young workforce in Murray. I'm Sarah Batster, Programme Manager for DYW Murray. And I also have Amy Stephen here virtually with us on Employed and School Liaison. So Amy, where do we begin? Developing the Young Workforce is a national government funded programme made up of 21 regional groups across Scotland. We are the Murray Group, which supports the needs and wants of our region, our local business community and our schools. We have two important goals, to improve employer engagement with schools and colleges in Murray. We also want to support and encourage employers to offer more jobs and development opportunities for our young people. The DYW Murray team offer free support and tools to those who wish to get involved. DYW Murray target young people from nursery age up to 24 years old. We organise businesses from a range of sectors to go into primary and secondary schools, Murray College UHI or post-school training provisions, whether that be face-to-face -face or virtual. We can also do the same for nurseries. What we really aim for is to get as many Murray businesses as possible to influence how the curriculum is being taught by bringing in more employer engagement. If businesses support the schools in teaching and upskilling your young person, then your young person will be better equipped to enter the workplace when they leave education. We work with all businesses, my large across that does include those who are self-employed. Murray is primarily made up of really small organisations, ranging from retail to construction to the creative industries. Our biggest sector in Murray is manufacturing. We have Chivas Brothers, Baxters, Walker Shortbread, William Grant & Sons, Johnson's of Elgin and more who all support DYW. We have the RAF on our doorstep, Champion. James Jones, the Murray Council, Murray College UHI and more, all who are great supporters of what we do. We also have a fantastic DYW Murray board that consists of representatives from Murray's key sectors and also crucially we have our key partners including the Murray Council Education Department, Skills Development Scotland and Murray College UHI all on board. Their role within the programme is to oversee our strategy and operations. Check out our website to see who else we have on board. There are lots of ways employers can engage with education, whether that be on an ad hoc basis where they contribute when they can, or on a more long term partnership with one of our schools where they set out a long term plan to build their talent pipelines. Initially, when an employer is just starting to dip their toe in the water and engage with education, we would ask them to join our database of employers, which allows us to contact them with various requests. This can include anything from mock interviews to give young people an opportunity to gain feedback and learn what it is like to have an interview or class talk to highlight to young people an industry or career pathway. Other engagements can include anything from projects to workshops to career fairs to work experience to workplace tours or even an employer having an informal chat with a teacher or lecturer to help them create an industry specific course to enhance the young people's learning for years to come. These activities can take place face to face or virtually. We want to encourage you to encourage your young person to get involved in all of these opportunities. The more they engage with employers, the more they learn about what careers are on offer to them. I think it is also important for us to highlight the benefits of vocational learning. For those that might not know what vocational learning is, it is about learning or achieving a qualification through work experience and often ties into a particular career or sector. We encourage you to get involved in vocational learning options, so please consider this when your young person is choosing their subjects. How can they add to their CV? How can they stand out from the crowd? they can do a vocational qualification that allows them to gain practical experience and also the opportunity to try and discover if they actually want to follow a particular career path while still in school. Take apprenticeships, for example. Young people can now do a foundation apprenticeship in their fifth and sixth year while studying other subjects. 
But in this qualification, you can actually get experience of the workplace. We have two business administration foundation apprentices in the DYW Murray team who are working from home and they are treated like a normal employee going through a thorough induction process, getting to learn so many skills and test out their interests or activities they enjoy. Also, when your young person is entering their senior phase, it is important to think about their plan into employment. What subjects or experiences do they need to achieve to get a modern apprenticeship, a graduate apprenticeship, or simply their desired career choice? Modern apprenticeships have grown hugely and employers are taking on modern apprentices in various sectors, such as boat building, firefighting, professional cookery, social services, and even horticulture. Graduate apprenticeships are also expanding year by year, whereby a young person can now get a full-time job and study an honours degree with a university virtually with no student debt involved. Don't forget to consider your young person's attitude towards work. We speak to employers across Murray and beyond and ask what is the most important quality that they want to see in a young person starting in their business. Their answer, the right attitude towards work. Turning up in time, simply putting the dishwasher on in the staff room, being polite, challenging themselves to achieve and being passionate about their job. Your young person will best develop this through work experience. If they can get a Saturday job to earn some pennies, but also learn the foundation of skills to kickstart their career, it would be a great start. We are sure your school careers advisor will be able to describe the types of skills your young person also requires to navigate their next steps. The other key message we want to get across is to be proud of Murray. Murray is a great place to live, work and play. Opportunities are available across the region, so encourage your young person to recognise what's on their doorstep. We have large organisations across the region that work globally, so it really can open so many doors. We have really small companies that are growing day by day and your young person can grow with them. The Murray Growth Deal will even bring more opportunities to the area. If you would like to find more about this, search My Murray online and it will explain all about it. How about your young person becoming an entrepreneur and starting their own business here in Murray? As we have described, there are lots of opportunities. Finally, we just wanted to reassure parents that although it's been an incredibly hard year, we have still got so much more to give in terms of DYW. There are still so many opportunities available. We have tried our best to ensure your, your young person can engage virtually with employers until we are able to bring back face-to-face -face opportunities. Our YouTube channel currently hosts over 90 films for your young person to learn about careers and money relating to certain subjects, apprenticeships, and all people who live and work in money. One final message we wanted to get across to you is to consider the careers that will be available in your young person's future. We are moving to a much more digitalised way of working, especially due to COVID-19. Are your young person's digital skills up to scratch? Many roles will require more skilled employees in the next few years. As said previously, start to map out your young person's journey from now onwards so that they can see their career path ahead of them. But also remember, there is no wrong path. So to round up, what do we ask from you as parents? Encourage your young person to get work experience, which can be virtual. Support your child in their career decisions. Keep in mind that employers are looking for the right attitude towards work. And finally, start to map your young person's career pathway now. If you want to find out more about us, follow our Facebook page or check out our website where we post lots of information about the work we do. Thank you for listening. Take care and stay safe.